Here we go, baby. Born the fast train. All right, security was super easy to get through. They did take my aerosol sunscreen, not a big deal. Uh, but other than that, it literally took like three minutes. And so now we just wait for the train to arrive. This is where I waste a personal car. <laughs> yeah. We're going to pack us in here sardines. <laughs> That's going to be a fact. taken a half hour took a full hour Five it was hours. a really interesting ride we first went like into the boonies so someone could like get opposite dropped off from we're supposed to go yeah, opposite there. direction of downtown from the train station uh, it looked like it was a um a Laos girl that needed to get dropped off back home so that happened and then the driver and their like assistant in the back spoke no English and also like didn't read a GPS. And we're also just so, second class citizens here. So there's like, you know, five groups stuffed into that little um, tuk -tuk. Tuk -tuk. Yeah. And we were, even though we were the first to get on, we were the last to get off because we were all the way in the back. And so like each group is trying to tell the driver and their assistant where we're going and they're not understanding anything. They can't read anything. the GPS, like, oh, you have to turn left. We actually showing them, hey, look, this is GPS, yeah. <laughs> so, left, right? Eventually we made it. It was very funny for everyone though. At least everyone was like- You had a good very, laugh out of it. Yeah, everyone sure. laughed the whole time and no one was in a rush, so whatever. Um, but yeah, be, be, be prepared for a bit of a trek to get to town from the train station, but it was fine. And it's a beautiful day, so we are going to go get, I think, some Belgian food. We found some Belgian, Belgian food around the corner. Belgian some good beer, it looks like. So yeah. definitely could use a beer or two or ten after the ride. All right, let's roll. All right, baby. All right, this is our hotel room. Nothing special, but totally fine. It was only, what, how much a night? Like eighteen dollars a night, but this does crack me up. It has this like really bizarre Greek Santorini mural, and it says "Beautiful, beautiful Santorini." Beautiful. Beautiful. It's a beautiful day in Vientiane, Laos today. Paradise. It is beautiful. 
So we are headed to, uh, we're gonna walk around the downtown area and like past some temples. Uh, maybe you see a few, but mostly just kind of look at them as we walk around. And then we're going to see the Cope Center, uh, which is a place where they make prosthetics for victims of stepping on landmines or war. During the uh, Vietnam War, whoever stepped on landmines and stuff, they made those uh, prosthetic limbs for them. Yeah, so we thought that that would be cool. Um, and then there's a um, Buddhist, the, the annual National Buddhist Festival happens to be the days that we're here. So we may head over to like the main temple to check that out as well. So it should be a really nice, fun, beautiful day. And it's also the biggest uh, holiday in Laos. So I have pilgrims come from all over the world. Really, as well. Which would make sense why it was so packed on the train and waiting for train tickets and all of that. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. We were talking about mausoleums and I told you that we should get buried in the same casket because Obviously, we're so in love that we're going to die at the exact same moment. And if that doesn't happen, if one of us dies first, the other will die of a broken heart. And I said, well, for sure I will. But I don't know about you. Well, whatever makes your heart happy, that's what's going to happen. Just manifest that, baby. It would not have been a manifest that if I die first, you die immediately after. Horrible way to go, that I guess. That is my dream. <laughs> That, that you die dream. of a broken heart because you love me so much. Oh lordy. What have I got myself into, baby? <laughs> do you love it or do you love it? I love it, baby. Love it. stalls and shops with offerings on like every single corner because of the festival. There are a lot of monks out, a lot of people praying. It's really beautiful to see.
Hope was awesome. Highly recommend. But our tuk-tuk driver was possibly very drunk. That was very scary and I did not feel safe. And so V stopped the tuk-tuk and we got off. The and we'll either just walk our happy asses all the way. The adventure was there. so loud, I thought it was going to burst from the, our seats. Yeah, everything. like for one, the tuk-tuk was falling apart. It was not a safe ride. And then he kept like yelling at people and like swerving and was driving on the wrong side of the street. I mean, that bro, let me just get out and walk, man. Yeah, that wasn't fun. Thanks for stopping him, baby. No, but that's enough. Too much. I think we're gonna actually stop here anyway because it didn't go any further. But. Oh, because there's a festival. Oh, great. Great. We made it all the way. Whew. All right, I'm gonna walk off this anxiety. Okay, but back to Cope. They were truly awesome. Definitely look them up, support their mission. They do amazing things for people with disabilities but, in Yeah, a lot, a lot of people don't know about them, so uh, we definitely need to spread their awareness. They're doing amazing things for the... Um, yeah, and it's like free the services. That, yeah. they, they do for... yeah, everything from um, prosthetics to um, disability training, um, helping, you know, children that are born with club feet, lots of different things, so. Awesome, awesome work, Coke. Here you go. market vibes in as well. Yeah. So what? Flea market vibes. Oh yeah, for sure, yeah. yeah. Huge flea market. Well done. We're 
not sure who the people in white are, but they may be government officials or very rich families because they have military escorts. And one of the soldiers like nudged me nicely out of the way because they were coming and this road is theirs to walk on. Now mine. Something tells us we're not allowed in there either. I mean, you wanna try it? See what happens? We, we might just get kicked out, but that's not it. No. I'm go. good. in the distance there and all we see right now is thailand oh yeah thailand's like river. right literally that's the river right there thailand's the lights on the other side of the river and we're How thinking cool. about hopping over there real quick yeah i miss thailand take me back like we miss home take me back but yeah we're, we're walking along this long street that's been um, shut off shut off i guess shut off. from public or blocked off from the public but we'll see what happens later. It seems like a lot of action going on. Yeah, it looks like a lot of lights down there. And V also wanted to share some things that he learned about the festival. Oh, uh, today, uh, the, uh, what were they celebrating again? Uh, it was the Luang, the, it's the National Buddhist Festival. Yeah, but they oh, the, the reason to celebrate is on uh, the full lunar moon. Uh, every year and usually happens in November and I think this goes on for like four four days this month from it's November 4th to the 8th like so cool that we happen to be here for mm -hmm. it happening like we did not plan that whatsoever 
No, and we wouldn't have known about it unless our, I don't know if he's a host or one of the staff members at our hotel told us about it. Yeah, we were like, thank you so much for telling us about that because it was so cool to go to and we witness would, and be we, a part of. I wonder if we would have seen that, honestly, regardless, because if you walked into town, everybody was gathered at one spot so but that wasn't like downtown that was like yeah. quite a ways away we it was like a it would have been a 40 minute walk but obviously you saw we took 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 but, so but it was like temple, 15 though, minutes that, that temple is one of the most symbolic temples in all, all of southeast asia especially laos so i'm sure we would have ran into that regardless totally gorgeous yeah. so that was fun all right night market coming up guys Tell us your theory here. The reason why this night market is closed, or seems closed, because of the festival that's going on tonight, or today. So, everybody's gathered over there. Um, that's what we think. Praying. Because these are all like shop buildings. And you can see all of the doors are closed. Back there, and the restaurants are empty as well, so I'm sure this would have been packed. But. Yeah. That's, that's where our theory is. So. All the all the tourists. We're going are to keep. Thing. We're going to keep walking now and see if any of it looks more open. Oh, we got some stuff on the right hand side over here. Some, maybe market. some little things. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like the night markets we're accustomed to. But yeah, I bet you're right. All this is just closed. I mean, you could always hop over to Thailand, and I'm sure <laughs> we can find one over there. I'm down. So down. <laughs> great shopping market but we're both just so over shopping we did a ton of Lao shopping at the night market in Long Pobang already so I think we'll just probably head out of here and find some food but like check it out if you're here yeah we, this is definitely um, plenty of options for you guys so anything you need anything you want you have it right here check it out we found a temple with Christmas lights I mean, I love it. That was it. But it was cute. We haven't seen anything holiday anything. That's why you wanted to see it, babe? Yeah, it's cute. Wow. Guys, we are we're four months into our trip at this point. We're a little bit burnout. We're a little bit tired. I'm tired of hotel rooms. I'm getting close to being tired of Asian food. I know. I know. Sounds crazy, but. And we've seen about a million temples. I see the zillion temples. Missing holidays back home. So we're hanging in there. We'll, I'm sure we'll feel better. We're literally going to like a totally think, another like we'll area. Need, we need some and beach, some paradise. Yeah, we need some beach. So we're headed to Indonesia. Indonesia. Indonesia in a few days. Hopefully it recuperates us. And Laos is lovely. It's it's not Laos. It's us. We're the problem. The food at Sticky Fingers was bomb. It was so good. So different. Mixture of a little bit of everything, honestly. We kind of had like Greek slash Polish dishes. It was a very nice change. I know American, it's beautiful. Polish, Greek. Mm -hmm. Great Western presentation. Food. Great presentation. Very yeah. delicious. And cheap. Very cheap. Win win. Compared, Check it out. Compared to freaking um, the Belgian place, dude. You spent like 35 bucks. Yeah. On a burger. Did we really? Yeah. Never going there again. No. I feel like I was back in the States. <laughs> something we don't get sick of, but massages. Excited for your foot massage, honey? <laughs>
delicious food. How you feel about that? Better than yours. That's what it looks like. <laughs> they both look and amazing. <laughs> I love these hot cakes. It is literally the most perfect day today. Finally, we had a great day. Oh my God, yesterday was hot. Today is beautiful. We have some breeze. Weather is cool. It's Weather is amazing. amazing. Oh, it feels so good. I can walk all day <laughs> like in this type of weather. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go for a walk. We're going to check out this like famous monument in the middle of town. Check out a big local market. I will just kind of see. That was a loud tuk tuk. <laughs> just see where the day takes us. Got yeah, it's a 20 minute walk from here, so yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm happy we're walking. And it's beautiful. good weather, yes. So, so beautiful. Let's get this, let's see what this is about. Come on! Let's go. Monument and it was built in the 1960s. Uh, a war memorial with Laos carvings, uh, but it's not been really well taken care of. It looks like it looks like it's over 100 years old, not like 50 or 60 years old. What's but yeah, the name? It's so beautiful. Oh, the name. It's, uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it. Pat Patu Raksai Monument. <laughs> Patu Patu Swai, maybe Patu Swai Monument. But yeah. What do you love? Carvings in the ceiling. Morning market. We have found it. And yep. by morning, it means like morning till 5 p.m. I think we're gonna go ahead and check out another flea market, is what it really looks like. Yeah. Let's Bunch see. of clothing. I don't see much food, but probably towards the end over there. I'm thirsty. It's an outdoor flea market that turns into a mall. So. Very strange. Very strange <laughs> indeed. Uh, there's no, nothing there. That is not that true. Is true. Baby, if you're thirsty, I'll get you something to drink. I got you something right here, Daddy. Daddy got to get some blank blank. What are you looking at? These braces right here. Daddy wants that blind blind, but it's definitely Fake. fake old. <laughs> it, it was like 50 bucks for that, yeah. 24 k It felt like plastic, looked like plastic. When everybody's lined up like that, you know it's fake. Yeah. It was cute though. I mean, it's a look. It's it a was just gold plated. Just gold plated. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't expensive, so I don't, they weren't like... For that bracelet, it was like 50 bucks. Yeah, I don't think they were really trying to play it off as real gold, but it's just interesting that this whole floor is dedicated to fake gold jewelry. And I mean, it, they are buying. The yeah, the whole second won. floor is nothing but jewelry. So again, just very interesting. I'm losing him. I'm losing my husband. Come back. Come back. Now this floor is more my style. It's the entire floor of fabric. Not my style. 
we'll you check don't it have out. any fashion sense. We'll, we'll check it out and see what it's about. Uh, paper, are you gonna buy some traditional wear so you can uh, represent Laos when you come back home? Maybe, let's see. Let's I swear, Vietnam is always trying to get me marked crossing the street in the most craziest places. No, I get espresso. No, I get espresso. This is the second naked espresso that we have visited in Vietnam. They're all over the city and they're fantastic. We had lunch and worked at one for like five hours yesterday. And this is a totally different one that we've run into in this part of the city. And we have walked by a third one. So not totally sure how many they are, but they're great. Juices are great, food is great, internet's great. Highly recommend. Picked up some of my favorite, I don't know, just, in Thailand, they were called like Thai tacos or something. I don't know what they're called in Laos, but they're like these little, Thin pancakes filled with it's like, like it's made out of egg, but it tastes like marshmallow and it's some pretty, crunchy it's sweet stuff. As well. <laughs> They're really good. So we picked up some. It was only seven baht for this whole thing, which is like thirty cents, forty cents. Amazing. Good. Mm. Delicious, huh? What does it's it taste like? So Is it crispy? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. We met this guy last night named Peter. Peter from Montana. And Peter told us about this like rooftop bar that you can find on Google Maps. But he showed us a picture of the building and told us kind of like the general area and that it's like by one of these chain cafe sanooks and um, that the building says toys from the sky, like bombs, kind of a bombed out and nobody building. Knows about it. So we've been walking around for like 15, 20 minutes trying to find this place to watch sunset at, maybe eat live grasshoppers and have a drink with Peter. Peter, if you're watching this, we really tried to find you, man. We can't find it. Can't, and nobody we, knows what we're we talking about. We also asked about. a couple people. They don't seem to know that I can toys from the sky. They keep telling <laughs> us to go next uh, next street over, next block over to yeah. get out of there. <laughs> and V is pretty sure like I'm making up that it said toys from the sky, but I'm pretty confident that it said yeah. that. Yeah, I highly so, that. So we're like maybe not even looking for the same thing, but... Okay, we're just gonna keep walking around and maybe we find it, maybe we, we, we don't. We even Google the, like maybe a bar that's been bombed out, a rooftop bar. There's nothing on Google that suggests that it could be in this area. Yeah. Uh, or that maybe it's never even written about. Peter, did you make this up and send us in a wild No, but the picture chase. he did show me, I remember seeing that building. Yeah, no, it looks like these buildings. Like rounded on one end. We might run into you, man. You never know. We'll keep looking. Onward the hunt goes. Of course, there's about a dozen Cafe Sanooks in Vientiane, and like four of them are along the water. So we may have gone and looked near the wrong ones. There's another one that's also on the water that's like quite a bit further away from the other ones. Might be that one. Peter, where you at? Trying to find you, Peter. I think we're gonna give up. Have a drink here. Babe, is that your beer you ordered? Yeah, I asked for, I asked for the uh, large, but they brought me a small, so I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> 
That is a massive tower of beer. The only time I have had this was, I think, in Miami. Forget the Outlander or Oaklander with Amir. Amir would remember this for sure. Big, big bad boy right here. <laughs> The most handsome boy in all of Laos. My boy. I was deep in thought about how grateful I was, and there you are. Are you grateful for me, baby? Grateful for you and for an amazing trip that we have been doing. Absolutely. Nothing but that. The people here, I can't even begin to describe like how nice and friendly and kind and passionate and yeah. loving and caring they are. It's been amazing. It's incredible. It's been such a lovely last evening in Laos. Love every minute of it. Oh, delightful. And we head off of mainland Southeast Asia to Indonesia tomorrow. See you there.